Hi guys, we're back live in Ukraine, in Sumy, on the north of Ukraine. And today our topic is uh, feminism in Ukrainian women. Uh, how do you, what do Ukrainian women think about feminism? And is it relevant in Ukraine itself? Is it uh, popular in Ukraine? Uh, we will try to find it out today. And just to remind you, uh, it's Magic RNT, spelled it with a Y, dot com. It's our website where you get, uh, after you get registered, you can meet up to 10 ladies for free, uh, have 20 emails with them for free, and uh, one Skype call for free as well. So, uh, and also unlimited coaching and everything. So you can very welcome, you are very welcome to go on our website, get registered, and we will help you to find a wife in Ukraine. So, and uh, let's go. Our team is trying to find someone to answer our questions. And yep, we found. Здрасте. Украинский, английский, русский. Русский. Английский не вообще не можно английский. Окей, давайте попробуем английский. Okay, so uh, our today's topic is feminism and Ukrainian women. How do you think is feminism popular in Ukraine? Mm, I think no. In Ukraine, a woman is completely another. They trust uh, men very much, no, not mm -hmm. like feminism. Okay, and do you think maybe uh, that on the official level, maybe in law, uh, there are some not like not equal moments for men and women in Ukraine? На законодавчому рівні є якісь типа там не знаю, нижчі зарплати у жінок або щось таке. Ah, maybe sometimes it can be in Ukraine some in York some men can uh, get more success than women. Okay. okay, and what is more important for you? Uh, to get an education and a job or to create a family? For me, at first place is the family, and uh, next is uh, career. job and career. Yes, but uh, in general, I want to uh, some harmony in my life mm -hmm. uh, with all these two things. Mm -hmm. Okay, and um, do you want to have kids? Of course, I want. <laughs> okay, cool. And um, there is right now in uh, America such also a very popular movement as um, body positive. Uh, do you know mm -hmm. about that? Yes, yes, I know. Uh, what I do you think, think about that? Uh, it's a good idea because uh, some uh, standard of uh, beauty uh, it, for some women it's uh, not possible mm -hmm. to be like some models. Uh, mm -hmm. So body positive it's very good for all another women who cannot be as uh, models like victoria's mm -hmm. secret or something mm -hmm. okay. okay and uh would you prefer to stay to live in ukraine or to move abroad oh i'm thinking about it uh, i don't know which country i want to live because uh, I used to go to a lot of countries and I still cannot find my place in mm -hmm. this world, so we'll see. Okay, and we had such question in comments before, like um, uh, how important uh, is for you, like to, the man to be attractive, uh -huh. like uh -huh. uh, or how, attra how much attractive uh -huh. <laughs> should he be? <laughs> I think... Uh, it's only one thing important that I like that man. For me, some beauty of a man, he sh should be handsome or not, it's not very important. If I like uh, him, it's enough. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, does he should have a sense of humor? Of course. <laughs> It's and maybe I, more important than... Uh, <laughs> yes, uh, and everyone is saying that like sense of humor is much more important than... Yes. <laughs> okay, and uh, could you marry, for example, a man who already has kids? Oh, I don't know. It's uh, if I love that man, maybe, but uh, I want to find some man maybe my age, so I think he will not have kids. Okay, cool. And uh, for example, if you 
Um, okay, do you prefer to marry a Ukrainian man or a foreigner and why? <laughs> it's a very interesting question. I think about it now and uh, I still not decide. Mm-hmm. I think if it's uh, it will be man with uh, whom I can find some love or some uh, soulmate. Uh, mm-hmm. So it doesn't matter from which country he will be. Mm-hmm. Okay, we have a question in comments, just a second. Um, may I join you, say to in Japanese? Next question, please ask bro, Japan by marriage? Uh, I так понимаю, це був вопрос, типа, чи ви могли б вийти замуж за японца? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> okay. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Ваня, запиши, пожалуйста. Uh, 10-15 стол. Спасибо. <laughs> Okay, guys, so, um, uh, as you see from answers on the streets, uh, feminism is not really something popular in Ukraine. And, of course, uh, women like to take care about themselves. Uh, oh, you're welcome. <laughs> okay, but um, it's not something that they turned into a fight for their rights, you know, because... Uh, as for most of women, like uh, the rights of us are pretty equal, and there is no difference for law. For example, like are you a man or are you a woman? So as we just heard that uh, there can be uh, there can be difference in the sense that men can get more success uh, in uh, a job or in doing something. But it actually, uh, just a second, we'll cross the road. But it's actually based on a few moments. First of all, uh, when you're a woman in Ukraine, uh, you always would prefer to uh, create a family and not to uh, make a career. And, of course, they're trying to make a harmony. But if you are, for example, working and if you are a mother and you need to do some mother duties, Ukrainian women will also always prefer to uh, go home and stay with her child, uh, but not stay at work, you know. So, and in this case, most of, uh, it caused the most of, like, men are staying at work. And they are getting like more business, uh, they are doing better than women because they always prefer to go home, to stay with their kids, not to do overtime, you know, at work. For example, for a man to stay at work, uh, not to go, for example, on piano concert uh, of his child, he would uh, prefer to stay at work and to do his duties, you know? And for women, the situation is uh, not like that. So women would prefer to go to her child, to spend time with her family, not to stand over time at home. And we got a comment, just a second. What uh, comment? Be in Ukraine. I'm, I'm not sure what does it mean. Okay. Okay, and about... Um, how attractive the man should be uh, for Ukrainian women? Is it important or not? Uh, you know, there is a war in Ukraine and um, a lot of men are involved in this war. And as I, I told already on the, one of the previous streams, uh, for us it's not something... Disability is not something really important because uh, young guys are uh, coming back from war with different types of disabilities, but they are still uh, great and they are patriotic and they are strong. Uh, so they showed uh, to everyone that they are strong, they are soldiers, and that makes some sense, uh, you know, for a woman not to pay attention uh, for. Uh, some disabilities that he could have and uh, about some professions in Ukraine 
of course it's always something strange when a woman is trying to get like man's profession you know uh, for example a soldier and I've got some comments earlier like uh, that woman doesn't have anything to do at war uh, woman does because in perfect society, for, 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 of course, in perfect society, there wouldn't be war at all. But in less perfect society, uh, men should protect their country, their families and everything. But in our society, uh, when we don't have enough men, you know, in Ukraine, it's sometimes it's like that. So, and uh, women also always have something to do at war. We can be paramedics, we can be uh, cookers, we can be uh, lawyers, we can uh, help with any documentation and everything. And uh, there are some volunteers who are coming to war uh, and women's, oh, sorry, women, uh, of course, they're coming to war as volunteers, they're helping soldiers, uh, they're cooking them and everything. So. Uh, in this case, uh, it doesn't mean that they are feministic, you know? Uh, that means that they want to help and support their men. Not because they are fighting for uh, equal and fighting for rights of women, uh, but because they want to help. For example, a few women, maybe three of them, in the age of their 40, 45 years, when their kids already grow up and uh, they have an ingrained kid. Uh, and then to volunteers and to help soldiers, even to cook, of the, cook for them. And one of these women is actually a combat. So, um, but she doesn't think that women are the same strong as men or she doesn't think that uh, we don't have uh, equal in Ukraine and, or something like that. She just wanted to help. That's all. And this is the, actually the first instinct of women to help, to take care about family and everything. And uh, this also shows how different we are. And... Uh, Uh, how different we are because men are trying to uh, be stronger and everything and women uh, has like um, mother instincts instincts so uh, it's also always on natural side it shows how different we are and how different are our goals uh, but we are comparing just each other so that's all uh, we are going right now to the park where hope uh, there is not so windy as here it is so uh, Don't forget guys that uh, We have a phone number that is 206 801 1371 and This is our Seattle phone number so you can call it anytime uh, 24 7 and one of our coaches will be glad to help you with any issues that you have and by the way we have like a free scam check service so you can uh, Give us a call if you are communicating with a girl from Ukraine on any, um, like, from any data site, uh, you and you are not sure about is she real or not. Uh, we can help you to find it out. So uh, just give us a call at 206-801-1371. Okay, we're here near the stadium. And we're walking into a park. Okay, this stadium is uh, the biggest stadium in Sumer region, actually. And it can include like maybe around 20,000 people. Uh, there is where uh, our Sumi football club is training and playing their matches. 20,000 people. Cool. 
And there is actually, I don't know if you'll see, uh, there is a musical college where I studied, I graduated from it. Uh, okay, let's go to the park. I hope we'll find someone. Okay. Guys, don't forget to write your questions and comments so we can answer them as well. This is very nice sunshine. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay, and just to remind you, um, we are streaming right now. Yeah, we are streaming right now uh, on Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays from 6 a.m. to till 7 a.m. New York time in the morning. And on Saturdays and Sundays, we are streaming from 8 a.m. till 10 a.m. in the morning. Uh, it's going to be Ukraine live between 8 and 10 a.m. And between 11 and 12, it's going to be Ask Vita uh, live as well. Uh, so already on uh, next Saturday, you will be able to answer, so to ask some questions, to ask Vita some questions. So we'll, she will answer you about relationships and everything so and um, we have specific topics for each and every stream uh, we had already like uh, education and job or family uh, we had Ukrainian women and religion okay we have a question normal restaurant cost in summer, normal restaurant cost in summer for example to go there uh, cost uh, story most uh, for example, if you want to go for like two of you, I uh, don't know, with a couple, uh, maybe around three or four hundred hryvnias, I think, is very, very, very enough. Um, it's around, <laughs> it's around ten dollars. No, just a second. Uh, yep, it's around ten, fifteen dollars. <laughs> cool. Oh my god, I didn't even think about how how cheap it is, but uh, yep, so around 10, 13, uh, maybe 15 dollars is gonna be enough for a dinner in Ukraine in a restaurant. Maybe if it's expensive a restaurant, it's gonna be around 20 dollars, 25 dollars. It's really expensive. Okay. Okay. You're welcome. Okay. The weather actually is very changeable in this time of the year in Sumy. On the morning, that was uh, rain here. Uh, and it was like uh, raining all the morning, maybe till uh, 9 a.m. or something like that. And it's not the best river, actually, but still we have it in the center of the city. Okay, so and uh, in, in the middle of the day, it was really very, very hot here. Uh, it was very sunny. Mm -hmm and it was very hot and now it's windy very very windy so i don't know strange day okay and why do ukrainian people I like sushi yeah uh i don't know maybe because of this is like uh you know specific food uh but they're tasty okay we love everything that is tasty <laughs> not only sushi i think uh, I love pizza when it's tasty, I like borscht when it's tasty, so everything that is tasty, that's that's all that we need. Okay, we are waiting for 
our team maker. Okay, let's go. Um, unfortunately, we couldn't find any women here to answer our questions. So, guys, if you have questions, you can just write them in comments and we'll have a park. Uh -huh. Yep, uh, this is the Central Park. We showed it in some previous streams as well. It's uh, called Kajiduba Park. Uh, it was created in 18th century uh, by a very rich, I, I don't remember, he was a Haritonin uh, friend or something like that. And he has a wife uh, who has problems with health. So he uh, just grew up a park for her and he created a park for her. So, and now it's much bigger than it was. There are some monuments. Okay, let's check with the questions. $300 for four nights in Sumy with rent apartment. In Sumy, uh, yes. Uh, in Kyiv, maybe not. How far is Sumy from Kyiv Borispol Airport? Uh, Sumy are, uh, I don't know, maybe 200 kilometers from Kyiv, and that means that you need five hours of uh, driving to get from Kyiv to Sumy. Uh, yeah, maybe on car it's going to be faster, but on train you need five hours, and on uh, bus you always also need five hours. Okay, let's show you. Train be four hours. Train by four hours. Let's show you the head. <laughs> okay. Have you asked the Ukrainian men how they feel about foreign men dating and marrying away Ukrainian women? No, we didn't. I don't think that they will be really happy to hear these questions. Okay, just pack your photo. Okay. What are that? Sorry, uh, can you get internal flight from Kyiv to Sumy? I'm not sure. Actually, we have the airport in Sumy, but it's not uh, working for a while. But from uh, maybe for a month already, we have um, a plane here that are making just uh, you know uh, flights for fun. So, if you want to fly over Sumi, you can just pay him and he will, uh, you will go on a plane on, over Sumi. Here is the head. <laughs> uh, maybe it's a little bit strange, <laughs> but it's the big, big head of like, <laughs> uh, it's from our fairy tales actually. Uh, there is a fairy tale for about a man who uh, made a wind by his mouth so <laughs> this is from our fairy tales and we have a monument here it's very big actually if you can see uh, this is my height like how this is me i am one meter and 74 centimeters and this is the head so maybe around i don't know three meters or something like that high like very very big okay guys so anyway <laughs> we will have to make a break right now because of the wind we'll try to find some places to answer your questions just a second one more question yes recommend to use train the first class yep do i call seattle phone to use scam service how long does it take to discover if a girl is scam maybe around a few days yeah you can give us a call on this cell phone number uh what is the cost of rent nice apartment for one month uh, the cost for renting an apartment for one month in Sumy can be around two, maybe three thousand hryvnias. Uh, it's around hundred dollars. So and in Kyiv it's gonna be more. Uh, so guys, we'll have a little technical break, okay? So we'll come back just in 15-20 minutes. Please stay tuned and don't forget to press like on this video, subscribe our channel and press the notification button not to miss our videos. So in this way YouTube will, YouTube will notify you once we are starting live. So have a good day and we'll see you in 15-20 minutes. Bye-bye.